Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the bull market. So in general, is you know, most market currently are driving by the dollar and its strength. It's a uh, situation on different markets looks very similar. So I'm talking mostly on the forex market. Uh, on the stock market, it's a bit different situation. But anyway, uh, things that we see currently among the major dollar rivals, I mean gold, euro currency, uh, great British pound, some other major currencies, all look approximately the same. So what we have on the gold? On the gold we have the same tight range uh, that we see on euro currency and that we have discussed recently. And we see very small anemic reaction on the situation of the daily and weekly ever sold around major support area. This reaction stands small even to the technical um, science, technical strength of this level. So in general, in common conditions, markets usually shows the better pullback from the strong support areas, especially when we have the stretch pattern. But currently, you can see that overall pullback stands very weak, and it doesn't let us to treat this action as some kind of the reversal and so on. So that's why currently on the uh, gold as well as on the euro currency, and especially on the Australian dollar, where we have, according to our forum member and businessman, he said that, well, actually he's provided on the forum a good stop on the Australian dollar, it stands bearish with the grabber, and uh, as you know, the Australian dollar is precious currency and has relation to the gold. That's why approximately the same thing we should expect from the gold. So currently, even from technical points, you have the bearish flag consolidation or pennant. That suggests some, another swing down. So that's actually what we expect to see as on the euro currency and Australian dollar as well. Uh, on the intraday charts, mostly we have the same picture, so we have the same resistance levels, triangle consolidation that you can see here. Yes, the grabber that has been formed recently, when we discussed on Friday, is still valid, but uh, actually it has no strong impact on the overall picture because if we even suggest that this grabber will be completed, then actually it's already has been completed because take a look, market has taken out on this top. But if it would suggest that even higher upper action will happen, it will be just tactical. So in general, we will we, we, we are we will be happy if market will show the reaction to the 1820 area. It's the same as in the euro currency we're expecting to the reaching of the XOP target that we have there. So, but somehow I suggest that chances on the direct upper, upper downside breakout looks currently stronger. So it means that here on the gold market we mostly could follow approximately the same tactics that we are following on the euro currency. We said that in the perfect situation, of course, you could try and sit in the hands and wait when the market will hit 1820, 1823 area. But it's not the fact that you will see it. Uh, and if you would like to trade the gold market, maybe it makes sense to go some compromise, take some compromise decision and take some part of the law of the position somewhere inside of the triangle. 30%, 40% of your position and see what will happen. If market will jump up here, you will be able to add more to your position with a possible downward continuation layer. But if sudden downside breakout will happen, you at least will be in the market and you will not miss it. So uh, that's the only solution that you could make. Also, we have only uh, indirect bearish signs because you do not have clear bearish patterns. You have just bearish pennant here. And that's actually the only thing that you, you have. In general, overall context is not, not very strong. We are mostly uh, following the setups that we have on the uh, uh, understanding markets. So, I mean, euro currency and Australian dollar. There we have the bearish context. It's more bright on Australian dollar. And trying to use it, we suggest that the goal approximately should be approximately the same as all these setups are driving by the strength of the dollar. This is not some uh, personal setups of the gold, of the euro, or Australian dollar. This is setups based on the United States dollar. That's why currently we're approximately 
well, wait uh, the same situation and uh, suggest that well, some another swing down should happen on the goal before situation maybe will change. For instance, if non-farm proposal is would be not as strong as market suggest, for example. Uh, but in the beginning of the week, well, I do not see any signs that uh, tell me that not right now is a good moment for taking the long position here.